Amazon has released a new a content module. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this breaking news segment here, we're going to show you this new module. It's called Complementary Product Sets. Now, for a lot of you, when you log in today and try and click into this, you will not be able to access this without a special URL. So if you go over to a Content Manager like this and hit Start Creating a Content, there's a new fourth section that should show up starting today on some accounts, but over time, it'll open up to everybody. But the good news is if you use this special URL, which we'll put at the top of the description here in the top of YouTube description, as well as the top comment, you'll be able to bypass waiting and check it out now. And it's the content manager workflow, specifically product complements. That'll bring you to a screen like this. In here, you can hit add module and you can check out the product showcase cards or the single image with text. Now this is gonna be cool because every time you can take extra space on your Amazon listing or on Amazon in general, that's a good thing. The opposite is true in e-commerce on a Shopify website where you wanna get them to that checkout button as quick as possible. But on a regular Amazon listing, as you scroll down and click on every different rabbit hole, there's an ad here and there's an ad there and there's 70 bazillion ads everywhere, right? So you can see ads, 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 ads. So by taking up extra A plus content space, it helps prevent your consumer from going down the rabbit hole and going somewhere else. So that's why you want to jump on this and add in every single module Many of you watching this don't even have your brand story yet. Get that done. I'm serious. It's so important. Watch my brand story video if you need help on how to do that. But it's super, super important to take up as much space as possible. Brand story shows up right here. And these abilities to have um, these showcase product cards is going to give you extra space on the Amazon platform. If you're wondering where this is gonna show up on Amazon, it's conflicting information and not a lot of uh, demos to show on this quite yet. But according to this help file, it says it will show up underneath the title, uh, frequently bought together, buy with it, etc. And this content will not have a fixed placement, so it could be moving around, but will compete with these other features to be shown to customers based on content relevance to the customer mission. So best practices for this, they say select products that work together to enhance the performance of the featured product on a page and which customers are likely to purchase together. You can see which products are more frequently purchased together in your brand catalog by checking the market basket analysis report within brand analytics located in Seller Central, also in Vendor. You can filter the report by the same brand combination to see which products from your catalog customers are purchasing together and use that information to build the complementary product sets content. Even if they don't buy it together, if you simply build this out, they're more likely to do it. So you may want to consider that as well. But if I was going to build the first product complementary set on my account, I would probably pick two items that do get purchased today. So like most A plus content sections, you're going to do something very similar in this one. You'll add a sub headline, something to the effect of, you know, uh, artisan soaps. If I'm selling my age of sage soap product like this, I'd put something like that. Each individual product has a headline. This is typically the title of the product. So product title one and product title two. Uh, you are going to load an image. This needs to be sized delicately. You do need to have the exact pixel ratio of 330 by 290. Sometimes when we loaded um, product images to the product grid of the A-plus content, if we didn't use the exact pixel module um, ratio, it would, it would have a, a weird look and stretch it out. So highly recommend that you have a designer specifically stretched to these pixels. You'll throw in the ASIN like this, and then backup ASINs if you want, that's optional. So if your product's out of stock, would be my assumption, it'll show product one, two, or three as the alternative. And similarly, product two, you can add multiple products beyond two, but you gotta have at least two here, um, connecting them together. Product three, product four, looks like that's all we have room for. After you start editing this, you can customize the columns and push them back and forth like this and change the order. So you don't have to have it perfect day one. You can come back and edit and, and layer in additional things later. Uh, inside of the image, do not forget this really important thing called image keywords, also known as alt text. And they also 
um, give you 100 characters per image. They're giving this to you twice in the form of the mobile and the desktop image, which has different pixel ratios. Uh, so I highly recommend you fill all of this in and set custom alt text on both. This is going to be an extra SEO layer that you've never used before in a new area that will help your product rank. And every time you get an opportunity to add text and keywords and copy into Amazon, you need to take full advantage of this. So a product collection like mine where I've got dozens and dozens of soaps like this, I'm going to be jumping all over this product collection idea and I'll be connecting multiple modules. I'll be doing sets of four all over the place to try and get consumers to increase that average order value. We want that to go up or our AOV. You can find that on your business reports as well. So title, headline, subheadline, and then the ASIN alt image keywords. All of that needs to be fully optimized. They'll give you a little bit of a preview here after you fill that in. You can check that out. But since this is so new, I haven't even built one of these before. This is my first day looking at this. After you do that, I assume it's going to be just like regular A-plus content where you apply the ASINs, hit publish, and it will either go through instantly or take a 10-day review would be my assumption. So once we have more information, we've published a few of these. We'll report back with some of our findings. You want to hit that subscribe button for all breaking news on Amazon as the seller. The Stephen Pope channel, a la My Amazon Guy, is the place to be. Check out my video on brand stories next.